Welcome to game three for the Reading B Rockets. The boys have started out strong with a 2-0 start, but something we'll give today is Wakefield's also 2-0 in the season. Both teams have wins over a common opponent in Lexington. That may not tell us that much early in the season. This particular Wakefield team is not afraid to pass, we've heard. And uh, let's see, hopefully the Rockets worked a little bit on their pass defense, an area that caused them a bit of trouble against Lexington and caused them, could have caused some big problems against Westford if not for a few overthrown balls. So I wanted to mention a few kids from strong plays last week. Keith Richmond, I missed a big tackle call on Sean Beckenhues. Trevor Conroy had a couple of great containment blocks. And how about your boy, Derek Van Horn? Huge game last week, Brian. Nice. A couple of key tackles plays. Um, we're going to be starting this thing off soon. We'll, you know, we, with uh, so many kids on the team this year, we're going to get a, a little extra player profile in today. I get one lined up at DVH. Nice. All right, hey, it looks like Rockets are going to receive, and we'll be back in a sec. All right, Wakefield set to kick off here. Steven Webb and Dante Barboza back deep. And here we go. It's a nice kick towards Barboza. Dante picks it up. Runs it back to about the 35-yard line, so nice uh, coverage there for Wakefield. Redding's going to start off first and 10 from the 35. It's the first time all season we've actually uh, started with the ball ride. Right. I like it. Maybe put some pressure on early, yeah? <laughs> Looks like we have Lucas Fleming and Sean Beckenhuis in the backfield to start. It's been a steady dose of Lucas early on for the Rockets. Just waiting for the tee to be retrieved behind the play. And here we go. It's a keeper for Lucas. Runs behind Beckenhuis. He's still on his feet. Nice job shifting it out there. Lucas gets outside and runs it for a beautiful gain there of uh, 10 or 11. So looks like it's going to be a first down for Redding. Nice start for Lucas. Usually you don't see him uh, not crush someone in these first plays, Ryan. I go, now he's turned into a, a speed outside runner. They'll never know how to defend them. First and ten here for the Rockets. Split right, Dylan Lee. It's a handoff right to Danny Damari. He follows Beckenhuis. Danny gets spun down pretty quickly after a short gain of one. So we're looking at second and nine. In comes back in the game, a quarterback. Barboza split left. Looks like Beckenhuis next to him. Direct snap to Fleming. He's still on his feet. Lucas runs around somebody, runs over another, and he gets about three or four tough yards here right to midfield. So it's going to be third and five here for the Rockets. Pretty good looking Wakefield team early. Got okay, some big boys in that team too. All right, third and five here for the Rockets. This is a big play early in the game. Looks like Troy Pollock in there, quarterback. It's a keeper for Troy, and he pitches it out to Damari. Damari cuts back. He's very close to the first down there. That's a nicely set up play we've seen a few times there. Danny might have had a little bit more success cutting out to the right, but he cuts back, and I think they're going to give him the first here. If not, it's going to be inches. Maybe not the greatest spot, so it's going to be fourth and a foot here. Pollock right back in. <laughs> they're, they're stumbling out of the gates here. Uh, here we go, fourth down. It's a keeper for Pollock right up the middle. He's got the first. It's a nice job, quick snap. I think maybe that Stephen Needham trip there was set, set to make the other kids laugh on the other side because I, you know, we're grown men up here, Brian. We're still laughing when kids trip. Exactly. What's wrong with us? <laughs> Maybe that was one of the, the master plans of the coaching staff, right? Yeah, maybe. You trip, have the kids laugh, we'll do a quick snap for the first down. First and 10 here in Wakefield territory. Let's see who's under center now. It's Pollock and it's a pitch to Damari. Damari cuts up, beautiful run by Danny. You know, Danny has a nice knack of finding that hole and his cutbacks are among the best on the team. So he rips off a quick one for about six or seven. 
Troy Pollock still in there, under center this time. Damari and Beckett, he's back. Plank right is, oh, inside hand up to Damari. Nice job by number 12, but I think Danny's gonna push that close to the first down, and if not have it, so. Nice misdirection play. Number 12 wasn't fooled, but Danny still takes off a couple of yards there, and it's gonna be third and very short. Maybe a couple of tough spots on those plays, but. Pollock under center again. Damari Beckenhuis behind him. Hand off to Damari, just takes it, easily takes it for the first down, so. Nice job for Dan. He wasn't to be denied there, and uh, it's gonna be first down here for the Rockets. So the Rockets are moving, and they, look at this. This is what happens when you have uh, 35 players. Brand new offense, boom, bring them in. All at once, you'll get it. You'll very, very rarely see that at Pup One or any level. And uh, maybe maybe the team has the luxury to do it. Patrick Harrigan's gonna be in there right now, quarterback. Stephen Webb in the backfield with Lucas Fleming. We saw Webb and Fleming team up last week to absolutely croak some teams. It's a pitch to Webb, he follows Fleming, cuts up. Oh boy, he puts his shoulder into this kid and drives him for five yards, number 12. And uh, you know, that kid's made a couple of good plays, but he just felt a huge stick and get carried for three yards by Webb. Call it second and six. That was a nice job by Webb following uh, Fleming, the big guy. Look for that one again. Harrigan under center. Looks like Wakefield moved there, so it might be, uh, they're calling it on Redinger's motion on the left side of the line, moving him back five yards. I don't know about that, Brian. We're gonna have to look at the tape on that one. I think the guys from Wakefield might have jumped, but nonetheless, they're gonna move the Rockets back and be second and 12. Second and call it 13 here for the Rockets after the penalty. Harrigan, under, Harrigan in the shotgun. Inside move to Webb to hand off to Steven. He's gonna get outside quickly and he's got room. Steven comes in, oh, runs into his own guy. Doesn't want to go down, but four guys from, from Wakefield try to do it, but he takes it for a first down and Steven gets ahead of steam. He's almost impossible to keep up with. He's so fast. That's gonna be first down. Great call by Redding there. All right, first inside, first and 10 from the 18 inside the red zone here. Harrigan in the center. It's a handoff to Webb, he's gonna follow. Oh, nice play, but oh, the ball's on the ground, flips in the air, oh, and he's stripping again. The ball's still on the ground. I think Redding might have lucked out and held on to this thing. Wow, what a play. Number 12 came in for Wakefield, strips the ball from Webb, pops in the air, bounces around and pinballs, and we fortunately hop on it, so. Huge, huge uh, positive uh, set of events for, uh, for Redding there, because that wouldn't hurt, but this one's gonna be Let's call it, it's gonna be second down and, uh, gosh, second is gonna be 18 or something like that. So we gotta figure out what it's gonna be here, but. I think they give him first down because they changed the possession. How about and that? Back again. Look at you, look at you, BVH. It's a first down that changed possession twice. Good thing you're here. You're bringing your A game again. Oh, well, it's gonna be a pass from Harrigan. He's right open there, Jeremy Ross across the middle. He's gonna go in. Oh, no. Caught down from behind. What a beautifully set up play. We talked about it last week that Coach Junta rarely uses the pass, but that one was set up perfectly. And Ross goes underneath, and he was feet away from going for the touchdown. But yeah, to your point, it was a, ended up being a first down because it was two changes of possession on that play. What a crazy play, and what a fortunate play for Redding. Now it's first and goal here from about the five-yard line. Harrigan under center. Hand off to Webb, who's gonna follow. Oh, Steven gets caught from behind, though. Only gets a couple, so nice play by Wakefield there. He's trying to follow the big man, um, Fleming. And it's gonna be second and goal here from about the three. In comes Harrigan with the play. Fleming and Webb in the backfield. It's a pitch to Steven. He's going to fall. Fleming he cuts up. He's going to get outside, and he does. He's going to dive for it, and he did. He's in. Beautiful play by Steven. They were closing on him. And he dove for the first down, first down and touchdown. So nice set of uh, series for uh, Redding. We're talking about it up here, BBH. We're playing uh, a couple hours earlier today because we, yeah. we switched the 
the Wakefield coach is going to a wedding, and we are on fire here. <laughs> the sun. Oh, the sun. The sun. <laughs> uh, two hours from now, that we ends up Black going underneath, and we're fine. The back of my legs right now are on fire. <laughs> Is Stephen Webb to try the extra point, which will be worth two here. Book it! Book it! Stephen boots it. He just pulls it, I believe, left. No good. He had, had plenty of power, just pulled it. So early on, with 3.30 to go in the first quarter, Reading six, Wakefield nothing. DVH. He's hopping on. Kick team. Okay, yep. Got him? Hey, listen, we're going to get a quick player profile in number 42, near and dear to your heart. BBH, your son Derek had a great game last week. Favorite male celebrity, Neil Patrick Harris. Favorite female celebrity, Allison Hannigan. Both stars of How I Met Your Mother, I think. Yep. Derek's favorite book is The Outsiders. Common pick with the boys this year was on the summer reading list. I went back and watched that movie recently with my son. I think that may have been the start of my lifelong infatuation with Diane Lane. Yeah, boy, you know her, right? Cherry Valance. Come yeah. on. How about some of the names in uh, in that thing? Soda Pop, Pony Boy, <laughs> huh? Oh my gosh! Speaking of that, here comes Alfie Boy. Al, Al, Al. Alfie's in the house. <laughs> oh, Albie Boy, not Alfie. Oh, that's a big kick by uh, Fleming. It's a live ball right now. He's got to pick this thing up. And he gets met quickly, Rosh and uh, Rosh and Stephen Webb in there. So it's going to be, let's see what Wakefield brings in their first set of downs. Albie Kale joining us for a second week. Oh, my. It's a pleasure to be with such legendary status as yourself, Oak. Oh, my gosh. Keep talking about me. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have the, uh, let's see, our, that big defensive line is going to start for Redding. But uh, this Wakefield team looks pretty good. That, was, that, was, that wasn't, uh, certainly not as easy as the last few no. times to move the ball, so. Nice first series for Redding, and here's what, let's see what Wakefield gets for their first run. High formation. It's a handoff. Oh, nice. Met very quickly. Barboza in there, but it looks like number 22 is Damari came in and closed too, so short game. Nice job by Barboza and Damari. Nine. Webb, Junta, Fleming, O'Connor, and Richmond, who switches places with Webb right now. Rosh, Beckenhuis, Damari, and Barboza, linebackers. Split out Harrigan and Troy Pollock deep. I formation again. In motion. Nice run here, pitch right. He gets wrapped up by Barboza coming up, also Patrick Harrigan. So another short game. Fleming is over there as well. Slams the ball down. Getting back to DVH while we're here, huh? He said the one word that describes him, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> And I, I, can, I, know, I know that that's true because I saw him, a couple of the seventh grade girls were watching him, Webb, and Oki go by. They said, there's the fast one, there's the tall one, and there's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. So, third down here, and this is a big play, third and long. And the eye formation, stacked left, in motion. It looks like it's going to be a pass here. He's He's got room here. He's open. Oh, beautiful catch. Beautiful play. And Troy Pollock was right on him. But wow. Really nicely set up play. Number 11 got behind the D. And it's a first down here. So that was a big play for Wakefield. We talked about those guys wanting to throw the ball. And they did. And they executed it perfectly. So very close to midfield here. Number 82 is Patrick Wesley DeRoss. His name, his name sounds like a gunfighter from the Old West, Albie, huh? I was just watching The Quick and the Dead. There you go. His favorite foods, ice cream, favorite male celebrity, Gronk. Favorite female celebrity, Taylor Swift. You like her, Albie? Uh, you know what? I'm a Taylor Swift fan. I think I you am. are, too, I right? I am. I, who isn't? Well, listen, uh, Fun fact up here, two of the three guys in this booth are actually ex-boyfriends of Taylor Swift. She likes, to, she likes to get boyfriends and just dump us, doesn't she? Me and BBH. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, let's, we're going to get back to Pat. Actually, you know what he said? He said the animal he'd most like to be is a cougar. Right? Little known fact about cougars, they're in the Guinness Book of World Records having the highest number of names. 
depending on where they're from, pumas, mountain lions, catamounts, panthers. You know what another name for a cougar is? Sue O'Connor. No, I'm only kidding you. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, of course, but uh, I was up at a friend, see a friend's band up at Palmer's last week, and I was surrounded by cougars. So here we are, it's uh, first and 10 for Wakefield after the beautiful pass. It's gonna be another pass oh, here, too. Yeah, nice block. Look at this, it's a little bit of a fluffing out of there. I don't know, is that a, fl <laughs> a fluffing out of How about that? Maybe a, I don't know what we call that one. A duck? A duck, yeah, a yeah, duck? yeah, a, a, a fluff okay. a ducker. Right a on. duck? You know what, we're here two hours early this week, uh, LB. Things are getting, we got a little rough start here. A little, getting a little giddy up in the air. Who doesn't have a here. rough start today? It's a By Sunday. Way, you know who's gonna kill me uh, next week? Sue? Yeah, Sue O'Connor. <laughs> okay, so, it's all in good fun. Here we go. Second and ten here after the incomplete pass. Back to that familiar eye formation. Hand off up the middle. Nice little run there. Number 24 Fleming and number uh, 43 Barboza in there. And so he does run it off for about five there. So we're looking at maybe third and five, maybe six coming up. Patrick DeRoss is the son of Mary and Paul DeRoss, one of the first families of Pup Warner football. To get back to those guys later. Third and five here for Wakefield. Oh, nice. beautiful play right there. Danny O'Connor, nice job for Oakey. Are you peacocking, Oak? <laughs> Hold Are on for a second. Did you no, see the play that I just made? I mean, my son just made? <laughs> Woo! I am the, I mean, he's the best. <laughs> Great play by Oki to trip him up and drop him for a loss, so it's fourth down. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, nice stop right there. Oh, fourth and going? Fourth and eight. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for it. Beautiful play by Danny O'Connor. That's on a that lot tackle. of confidence in that Wakefield team right there. They're gonna throw the ball here. He throws it right down the middle. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Nice. He's looking for a flag nope. for Pollock. He's not gonna get it. Nope. So nice play and nice coverage by Troy there. Looked like a nicely set up play, very close. And they don't get any flag and it's a great play. Great defensive series. Huge plays by Danny O'Connor and Troy Pollock in the last two and they're gonna take over on downs. Thing <laughs> of the O'Connor family way too much early in the broadcast, haven't we? Second series of downs here for Redding. I like it, this is a tough game here. Fleming keeps it himself. Gets wrapped up by about three or four guys, but still bulls ahead for about three yards. Second and eight here for the Rockets. Damari in the backfield. It's a direct snap to Danny. He follows Sean Beckendeuse. There you go. And Dan takes it for about three or four, so it's gonna be, call it third and three here, around the 42-yard line of uh, Wakefield. Uh, as you're mentioning, off-camera, BBH, very hard fought yards early on. This clearly was the toughest test so far. It's a thing for direct to Fleming. He gets outside. Looks like there's going to be a flag in there. It might be a holding. So it looks like they're uh, going to call a hold on Redding and move them back here. And they are. So it's going to push That's it gonna back. Hurt. That's going to hurt. They, you, may see it, you may see if they might decline. It's fourth and three here. They're going to uh, talk about it if they want to decline this thing or make them go for fourth. But looks like they're going to walk off the 10 and they'll do third again. Troy Paula coming at quarterback. Damari back. <coughs> you may see that option play again. <coughs> It's going to be a pitch. It looks like the option of Troy's got wrong, but he gets met pretty quickly, number 21, but he does drive it forward for about seven yards here. Call it fourth and six coming up, and we'll see what uh, Coach Junter and his squad want to do, if they want to kick this thing away or if they want to uh, go for it here. you got to admire the courage of this Reading team going forward on fourth and six. Here we are. 
Now Mikhail bringing stellar color commentary again. It's a keep for Pollock. He pitches it out. Oh, he pitches it away from Damari. And, and Danny does just enough to hold on to it, get positive yardage again. But the ball gets thrown away, puts a little bit ahead of Dan. Takes a big hit there, there at the end. Hopefully he's okay, but it's going to be turned over on downs, and it's going to be a net, net loss of about 15 yards for the Rockets, and Wakefield's going to take over here with excellent field position. Here we go. First and 10 for Wakefield after the turnover on downs. Handoff up the middle. Met almost immediately. Who crunched him in there? Number 44, Danny Junter in there. 41 was Sean Beck and Houston. 51, Zach Kenyon. A little Malachi crunch there, Albie. I think there were only two Malachis, though, weren't there? <laughs> only two Malachis in the Malachi crunch from the old happy days. The you Malachi may, you may be a little days? bit young. Yeah, you may be a little bit young yeah, for that, Albie. Yeah, before my time. Yeah, yeah. You're, <laughs> but you're a year time. younger than me, but you've old never time. heard of happy days. Okay. All right, here we go. Second and nine here. Very short game. Can we get a moment of silence for his broadcasting career? Here we go. Beautiful play right there. Oki drags him down from behind and Sean Beckenhues comes in. So nice play for Dan to hold on to him. He gets a short gain and it's going to be third and call it six here. Big play here for Wakefield. Maybe closer to third and seven. And in motion. Side handoff number 22. He gets met nice. almost immediately. So nice play. Sean Beckin, who's in there low. Keith Richmond in there high. It's going to be fourth and five. And this is they, they you know, they were they had worse field position last time and went for it on fourth. Let's see if they do it again inside Rocket territory. All right, here we go. Fourth down play here, and it's a big one. Redding stopped him last time. Let's see if we can do it again. He's going to keep it. It's going to be a pass. Oh, nice pressure. Beautiful pass and catch over Pollock. Wow, what a good looking play. They had excellent pressure from Redding. He spins out, throws it to number 11, who hauls it in looking like Edelman out there, just over Troy, who had excellent coverage. And another huge first down on fourth down for uh, Wakefield. So big play there, and they're approaching the red zone here. <coughs> first and 10 here for Wakefield. After a beautiful pass, we said earlier they like to pass. And they look like they know what they're doing back there. Number 10 and number 11 hooking up a couple times. Inside handoff gets absolutely crushed by Fleming. Fleming sheds the, sheds the center and wails on that kid for no loss. Maybe a little bit upset that they get uh, first down on that last play because I think Fleming was the guy who was in his face. We'll look at the tape, could have been Dan Junter as well, but right in the uh, quarterback's face on this fourth down play, and that's a loss for yards here with the big man in the middle. It's a handoff right there, oh. boom! Oh, met hard by Webb. Oki and Fleming in there as well. Beautiful play there, and they're going in the opposite direction. So the big defensive line is uh, making a statement here. As they get closer, they're actually pushing them farther away from the red zone here. He was lucky to hold on to that ball. With he them. was. He took a big hit. Webb, Webb came pounding through there with some, with some speed. And 12 here for Wakefield. <clears throat> Obviously not afraid to pass. New quarterback. 10 and 12 and mixing it up in here. It's a keeper. He's going to pass again. And he's open. Oh, just overthrown. What are they calling here? They might call something a penalty uh, in the backfield here. Maybe a, maybe a hold, which might move uh, Wakefield closer. But he overthrew the ball. But it looked like the uh, receiver's path was impeded by the Rockets. And it looked like they're going to walk off at least 10 and an automatic first down. All right, we got the two-minute warning here, but Wakefield's going to have first and 10 from the Rocket 15 in the shotgun. Oh, it's a low snap. Good job to pick it up by number 12. Wow, Webb is in pursuit. Ooh, boy. He had Webb and Fleming closing in on him. He lofted it up there and overthrew it, so it's going to be second and 10. 
Second and ten here for Wakefield. Shotgun again, he's back to pass, number 12, and he heaves it up, and number 21 is open, and he pulls it in! Oh, beautiful play. He separated himself from, from Dante, got a little bit of uh, distance on him, and he just heaved it over him, so a beautiful pass and catch. I tell you, we said they weren't afraid to throw, and they aren't. Gonna be, let's see what they do here. They're gonna try to kick the extra point and make this thing an, an eight to six game. Here's the extra point try for Wakefield. He gets it up and it looks like it is good. So, we got ourselves a game here, Brian. With a minute and 40 seconds to go in the half, Wakefield takes the lead, eight, Redding, six. Here we go, Wakefield set to kick off here, under two minutes, maybe, maybe a minute and a half left in the half. Barboza and Webb back deep. It's a good kick, it's gonna go right to Dante. Dante cuts up. Oh, he's got a little bit of room there, so Dante makes a nice play, and he gets it all the way back to midfield here, so great run back by Barboza, and the Rockets are gonna take over here with a little bit of time here left in the half and see if we can get something done. All right, here we go, it's gonna be first and 10 for the Rockets, close to midfield. We have Fleming and Beckenhus. It's a direct to Fleming. He follows Sean. Ooh, he bowls. He <laughs> runs into his own player. It was Tully. And gets about two or three yards here. Not sure exactly what's running on the clock here. That could very well be the half. Let's see. Time out, right? Okay. Let's see if we can get hit. Okay. There's a timeout there for Redding. It's going to be second and eight here. Not exactly sure how much time is left in the half. Might see Coach Junta call two plays on that timeout. Well, Patrick Harrigan. The pass to Webb right here. The, there we go. The oh, looking for Webb and a wide out. Inside handoff to Steven, and he gets outside with speed. Steven cuts up for the first down and oh, absolutely crushes a defendant Say back. Say hello to Steven Webb. Ooh, and Steven took the first down and number 55 is uh, seeing stars you know, right oh, now, 35. Webb's always preaching about sticking to the basics. That's exactly what he did. Run north-south, yep. stick to go. the basics. Is that Dan Webb coach or is that Steven Webb uh, preaching? Steven Webb. How about that? Yeah. Keep it, keep it simple, Steven folks. Webb, he keeps preaching the basics, the basics. Here we go, that's a big run right there, but we get we get it getting low on the clock. It says 105 here, we're not exactly sure if that's accurate. Sometimes the clock on the field is a little bit different than now, what we see uh, on the scoreboard. But big run for Webb, it's a first down here. We have Webb and Fleming in the backfield with Harrigan in the shotgun. It's going to be in there. Oh, it's going to pass. He's looking for a pass. He throws it up in the air. And, oh, boy, oh! Barboza comes up with it. Oh, he gets it in. it in. Over his head and scores. Wow. What a play. It looked like it's well defended. And you know what? You have to credit Barboza there. The kid's an athlete. It pops in the air. He pulls it out of there and runs for the touchdown. So, wow. What a, what a great play for Redding. Great Fortunate concentration. Bounce. And what an athletic play by Dante. Huge, huge play for Dante. He's got to be happy about that because he was the defender on the, the pass that went over his head last time. So Dante says right back at you. And now Stephen Webb's going to try to put two more on the board here. Oh, it's low and it's right, so he does not get it. Got a little bit too much toe on that one, but that was a good rush by Wakefield too, so. With under a minute to go in the half, the Rockets hop right back on top. 12, and Wakefield is eight. What a great, great game here. This is a good one, folks. Stick around. All right, here we go. Lucas Fleming to kick off here after the, what a great athletic play by Barbosa to pull down that touchdown catch. And it's a squib kick here. That's a live ball. They got to go get him here. Ooh, number 12 does a nice job. And 42, Derek Van Horn right in there. Give him a little lick, so nice job by Derek out there. And Wakefield's going to take over, but not much time left on the clock here. They're not afraid to pass, though, so 
Let's see what they get uh, up their sleeve here with uh, a few minutes to go and uh, a few seconds to go in the half. All right, there's 25 seconds confirmed on the clock here. And we got Barboza back deep and Troy Pollock way back. They don't want to let anyone get behind him in these passes. It's a hand up. The Humble. ball's on the ground. Humble. Oh, the ball's still on the ground. And Redding has the ball. Red Beautiful ball. play. Danny Jutter in there. I don't know if Dan stripped it himself huge and pounced play. on it, but a great play by that big defensive line. That's coach's son, Dan Junta, with a huge turnover here. With 20 seconds left to go, you might see if the Rockets get something up their sleeve now. Wow, great play. 19 seconds left in the half, and the Rockets get the ball on the turnover. Great play by Danny Junta. Harrigan under center. It's a pitch to Webb. Webb's going to be a half back off. She's going to keep it. He was going to throw it. He's going to keep it himself. Puts his head down there and drives for a few more yards. He might want to dri drive it outside, but I don't know if they're going to call a timeout or let this one go. Steven might have wanted to run that thing uh, out of bounds there. He was looking for the halfback option. It was covered well. And it looks like, I don't know if this is a timeout or they're going to call it halftime right here. I think it's going to be halftime there, Oak. Refs are walking off the field. That's a good sign. Well, listen, you, you bring the experts because you're the experts. What a beautiful commentary by Albie King. I know. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, at halftime, it's going to be Rockets 12, Wakefield 8. And listen, number 72 is Andrew Hattery. Let's do a little quick profile on Andrew here before the half. His favorite food is bacon and pepperoni pizza, Albie. Huh? That's a Very specific. Way to yeah. That's a good Any more cured though. meats we could <laughs> add to that order? <laughs> and this, I believe, this is the second year running that Andrew has, in fact, said the animal we'd most like to be is a squirrel. squirrel? We, I remember last year we were calling him the flying squirrel because he was making some big hits. You know, so we have the flying squirrel. Uh, hey, little known fact about Did squirrels. Did I call the squirrel in my basement? Tell me about oh, it. No, we can't. No, 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 we can't. Too many animal activists out there. Well, I will say this, uh, little known fact about squirrels, they're one of the only wild animals which will actually eat out of your hands. Do you know another one? Coach Dan so DeMauri. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He'll eat right out of your hand. All right, hey, Andrew says his, uh, his shape, his, that shape-shifting would be his superpower. Who was the one in the X-Men that shape-shifted? The girl Mystique, right? Yeah, yeah. Top notch shape shift. Hey, yeah. for, that was for, that was Rebecca Romaine, Stamos, then Jennifer oh, Lawrence, then, right? Yep, then Jennifer Lawrence. Who, who, who do you think was better? I don't know. This is up for debate. It up is. Up for debate. That's a huge debate. Um, BBH, let me ask you a question. Um, if you could shape shift, what would you turn into? I put you maybe Tim O'Connor. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, here, here's what I was That's thinking. That's a big shape. <laughs> here's, here's what I was wishing. I wish you'd shaped him, shift into a good cameraman. <laughs> All right, hey. Was that on the fly? Did you just think? Was that on the fly? You got that scripted. At, at halftime, the Rockets 12, Wakefield 8. We'll be back soon. Hey, we're actually very, very happy to be joined by some of the A Squad cheerleaders doing double duty today for the B Squad here today. Let's let the girls introduce themselves. I'm Becky. I'm Melissa. I'm Casey. I'm Casey. And I'm Emma. A big shout out to our coaches. Tori, Tori Sarah, Sarah, Nicole. 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 All right. Thanks, girls. Okay. Thanks so much for coming up. Check yourself out on RCTV next week. Thank you. All right. Here we are starting the second half. What an exciting ending of the half. And here goes big kick by uh, Lucas Fleming. Picked up by number 32. He gets met immediately. Wow, beautiful play in there. Who was that number? Was that number 11, Jeremy Roche? I'll tell you, Jeremy is, what a, what a sound tackler he is. He had a couple of huge tackles. He stayed huge right in lane, and it came right at him. That's right, beautiful play. Beautiful play right there by Jeremy. So it's going to be first and 10 here for Wakefield from their own 33-yard line. All right, here we go. It's first and 10 here for Wakefield. Single person backfield, one split right. It's a handoff up the middle, number 21. He gets wrapped up nice. immediately. Got Someone went low, Barboza came in there. It was 20, 24, it was Fleming, grabs him by the legs, and Barboza cleans him up for a loss. So uh, Dante's showing it on both sides of the ball today. Big in yeah. Here we go, it's gonna be second and a little bit more than 10 here. Wishbone formation. Hand off at the middle. Oh, oh boy. 
What a crunch. Is that Fleming coming through again? I think they, that kid's grandchildren are going to feel that one, Coach. They, they put two on Fleming. He still crunched that kid for a loss. And he's it, He got up a little bit slow there, so wow. Fleming is a guy over the center. He is almost impossible to stop. You want to focus on him for a play or two. He is blowing up their center on every play here, and they're going in the opposite direction. So nice job by Lucas. I formation, third and long here. Handoff up the Ooh. middle. Oh, immediately. Number third, Stephen Webb was in there, and cleaned up by number 54, series. Dan O'Connor. So Webb got in there, put the first lick, and Oki hops on his back, and they move up even further. <laughs> Yeah, these are one of the luxuries you have when you're uh, up here, uh, Albie. We we told uh, BVH and myself that we're absolutely going to zero in on our own kids just talking about <laughs> way, way too much. And that's different from any other week? Well, whatever. Usually we just talk about ourselves. <laughs> you? <laughs> this time it's about the kids. All right, here we go. It's fourth and long. These guys may be kicking on this one. Oh, it's a bad snap. And he does kick it away. Dante's back there. Dante picks it up at midfield. Get to the right, get to the right. Cuts left. Nice little juke move there. Oh, he switches hands. Oh, he's still on his feet. Oh, he's got to hold on to that ball, though. Woo! He gets over the 50. Dante trying to switch ball, switch the hands with his ball. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. He looked like it was a little loose there, but he does hold on to it, and the Rockets are going to take over inside Wakefield territory. So great defensive series for Redding to start the second half. All right, first and 10 here. Looks like we get Damari and Pollock in the backfield. A couple guys split out here, too. It's a handoff to Danny right up the middle. He drives forward for about three tough yards over the 45-yard line to the 44. All right, second and call at eight here for the Rockets. Damari and Pollock in the backfield. Two split right. It's going to be that pitch. And, oh, Troy takes it himself, and he sees it. Wow. Oh. Look at the little guy run through. Keeps driving through it. And he gets the first down, so wow, beautiful play. That was that option Get play. Get off Tro me. Troy kept it, kept it for himself and takes it for a quick nice run line. of about 10, 11 yards for the first down, so nice job by Troy. Hey, that gives hope for a lot of little guys like you, Albie, right? Oh, trust me, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Every time a guy like Troy Pollock does it, it's Al Albie's just like, and, and people like Albie, you know, yeah, smallish people. <laughs> He's very happy. Here we go, inside handoff right there to Damari. Oh, Danny gets hit hard, but he takes it for another three or four yards. So this is this is, looks like one of those sustained drives you saw early. Not an easy one, but a sustained one. And the Rockets are moving the ball well here, their first series of the second half. Second and call at seven here. Damari and Pollock in the backfield, two split left. It's a handoff to Danny again up the middle, and Danny spins around for just maybe almost no gain, gets back. So good defense right there. Number 14 and number 12 and 81 for uh, 91, sorry, for Wakefield making a nice play. So it's going to be third and seven. Here we go, third down here and seven after the nice stop there. Same backfield. It's to Troy. Troy's going to throw this one. He throws it right get across up, the middle. Oh, oh! Wow, to Barbosa again. Almost makes another athletic play. Beautiful pass by um, by Pollock. Perfect spiral. Good coverage by number 35 in Wakefield. And Barbosa almost pulled it down. Kind of reminds me of myself throwing a football. Wow. Tight spirals. I guess, the size I guess when you don't have a kid in the program, you might as well take one under your wing and you might as well take Troy Pollard well, for yours. Let, let me peacock for a minute. Put me on my kid sitting over there, will you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the sideline. All right, here we go. It's fourth down. And Reddy's going to go for it here. Pollock is back. Let's see if he keeps it himself or kicks it. Oh, he's going to throw it back here. He throws it back the other way. And there's Dante. Oh, boy. Hit Dante in the hands, it's incomplete. So it's one of those sort of uh, throw him across the middle. Dante probably not hurt, maybe just uh, upset with himself. Gets might have hit his fingers. Ah, he took a good whack there. They gotta take a, a look whack. at that. So they're gonna run out and take care of Dante right here, but the uh, Rockets are gonna turn the ball over. While we have some time here, we'll go to number 71 is Pat Dwyer. Pat Dwyer, little player profile. You know Pat? I know Pat. All right. All right. Well, I know Joe and Trish too. Do you? All right. Well, listen. Yeah. 
His favorite food, cheeseburgers. Favorite female celebrity brought up once again, earlier today, Jennifer Lawrence, right? I think Pat was a big Hunger Games fan, right? Nothing wrong with watching Jennifer Lawrence run around the woods with a bow and arrow, huh? Right. You know, I might have to do that. Uh, <laughs> Albie, do you know what a quiver is? A quiver? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what is it? Why don't you tell me? All right, well, the quiver, uh, unlike your knees knocking when you see Jennifer Lawrence, is actually the little sheet that you put the arrows in. Little known fact. We like there to drop go. knowledge up here, right? Sure. Hey, listen. Pat said if he could be any animal, he wanted to be a panda. <laughs> and as you know, BVH, I, I, I you know, sort of hobby in evolutionary biology in my spare time, right? Exactly. So here's a couple of facts about pandas. They have no special resting places, nests or dens. They just simply lie down whenever they're tired. And the other one is they spend two thirds of the day feeding and the rest of the day resting. Oh, I think Joe and Trish think he is a panda. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is. They, he already is a panda. Perfect. Hey, listen, they call him a giant panda. Why do they call him a giant panda? It's not like there's little tiny pandas running around. I mean, like, you don't you don't say, it, hey, there's there's a giant Damari. Just by saying Damari, you know, it implies that they're gigantic. And hey, pandas also have the largest teeth molars of any carnivore, with the exception of Gary Busey and myself. <laughs> <laughs> love Joe, love, love Joe and Trish. That's why Joe, Joe's out here on the sideline right now. He's, Where is he, Joe? He's there right he here. He's right in front of his son. Looking here. dapper as usual. He's like, oh my God, what time can I get out of here and get to the new Biltmore in Maine? <laughs> it's opening to, at noon time. I got to get out of here. He's he's burning in the sun down there. But Joe's doing the articles for the paper or for the uh, website, and I think he supplied the oranges today, doing a little double duty. So the Dwyer family, well represented on the sideline. First and 10 here for Wakefield. Handoff up the middle, number 21. Ooh, I'll tell you, 20, 21 gets hit by 21. That's uh, Richmond who comes in. And Lucas Fleming, they are now trying something else in him. They're trying to put two guys on Fleming because he's busting to the line. And they're going the other way again. It's going to be second and 11. OK, it's going to be second and 11 here for Wakefield. Reddings D has been playing very well this half. Handoff right up the middle. Beautiful play there. No trickery. That was uh, not using the oh. lead blocker this time, and he drives it forward. A little extracurricular activity out there, Oak. I don't know if you saw it. He's getting, getting a little frustrated with uh, Fleming. A little testy out there, yeah. huh? Yeah. So here we go. That's a nice gain for them. So it's going to be third and six here coming up. Play here. This would be tough field position to think about going in on fourth. So this is a huge play here for the Rockets. Watch Fleming in the center. Hand it up again, right up the middle, and oh, he gets hit immediately by Damari and gets cleaned up by Rosh, I think. Number 11, and uh, that's a big stick. They try the same play again, and that, you know, they don't fool the Rockets a second time, and it's gonna be fourth down, and they may have to think about kicking this one inside their own 40. Three minutes to go, they're, you know, they're only within four here, so. Although number 12 is coming in, he's the guy who threw the passes in the past. <clears throat> All right, fourth down play here, and they look like they're going for it. Rockets better look for the pass here. It's a long six. And it is going to be a pass. He rolls up. Oh, Stephen Webb was right on him. Oh, boy. And they just get crunched. Met by Oki, 54, Fleming right in there. 53 was in there as well. That's our boy uh, Steve Needham in there. So turned over on downs, and that was made possible by Stephen Webb getting right in his face. He was all over the quarterback, had no time to move. Did a good job just to evade Webb, and he gets cleaned up by that big offensive line or defensive line. And uh, once again, calling number 54's name. All right, first down here. Who's 54? <laughs> the tall kid. Here we go. Hand off right now to Webb. Oh, nice job by number 32 to come in and clip Webb at the knees because he had a head of steam going. And that's a great tackle right there. He's a tough guy to bring down. He just tripped him up, and it's going to be second and ten. Here we go, second and ten right now for the Rockets. Excellent field position here. Harrigan under center. It's Webb Fleming behind him. It's an inside handoff. Oh, boy, he takes nice everyone goal. there. That goes to Jeremy Ross. He gets outside. He used that straight arm to get a dive for an extra one. What a great play by Jeremy. 
He faked me out up here, Alvy. Who totally faked out. That thing was that thing was gonna be a handoff to Webb. It's gonna be a handoff to Fleming. Across comes Rush. He was stumbling forward, and Jeremy dives forward and rolls over. Really athletic play. Huge first down. Great play. And it's gonna be first and ten inside the, the red zone here. Pat Dwyer. Pat. De Ross on the right side of that line right now. It's a pitch to right Webb. He's going to follow Fleming. Oh, oh wow. How to run hard. Steven tried to go out a little bit. He might have got a, uh, I don't know if he got a face mask pulled on him, but uh, it looks like it's going to be holding on the Rockets elsewhere. Steven went a little bit left. Might have wanted to follow Fleming up there, but beautiful play by number 81 uh, to push him back. And it looks like they're going to take this penalty, too. Coach Junta sends Patrick Harrigan in with the play. It's going to be first and 20 now. Pushed him back with a hold on that play. This is a big series for the Rockets. Up just four here. They would definitely want to get on the board. There's Steven Webb running. It's going to be the fake to Webb. And oh, nice oh, move by Patrick. Patrick just gets a couple there. He evades one kid. But uh, credit Wakefield right there. They didn't really bite on it. Patrick had to make an athletic move just to get a couple yards back. It's going to be second and 18. Andrew Fatino goes out as a center. Harrigan's in there. He's going to follow it this way. Patrick's got a little bit of room, but he gets wrapped up quickly again. So it's going to be third and very long here after a couple of nice defensive plays for Wakefield. And we'll see what uh, Coach Junta has on his bag of tricks with third and 18 coming up. All right, Hayden, why would we switch sides on the quarter? Number 52, Andrew Fatino. Andrew likes Teddy, Bruschi, and Selena Gomez. Think about that, Albie. Another Hunger Games fan, as those are his favorite books. His favorite fruit, French fries. I can't help but bring it up every year. Albie, who's got the best fries in town? Best fries, McDonald's. Last well, corner, well, McDonald's. Well, listen. Both excellent. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to do a little shout out for uh, Anthony's steak fries, too. Those are good. But I'm, I'm with you, BBH. I'm going to shout out to his father who does a great job running the Reading Little League. Oh, huh? Andrew Fatino, huh? How about that, Joe? Yeah, Andrew's dad actually runs the, uh, runs the league. Does a there. great job. He's we'll retiring get... tonight. He's retiring? <laughs> retiring tonight, so we'll, we'll, this will be a send off. We'll come back to Andrew and finish up his profile in a second. It's going to be third and very long here. It's going to be a pass from Harrigan. He's got big pressure on him. Patrick gets wrapped up and pushed way back. So huge pressure uh, from the defensive line and pushes it fourth and very long. And you're likely to see the Rockets kick on this one. I think uh, Coach Junter is employing Patrick to maybe throw that one away instead of take the loss, but he didn't have too much time to think. This is fourth down here. Fleming, look for him to maybe boot the ball here. He does. Great kick by... Lucas, get, get down there, get get down down there and nice stop muscle. that ball. Oh, beautiful play, play right Let there on the one yard line. Wow. wow, beautiful kick. Nice job by Patrick. Harrigan get down there quickly and stop it. And they have pinned Wakefield very, very deep in the fourth. But guess what? They're within a score right here, guys. So with nine minutes to go in the game, what Wakefield's field, pinned very deep. You told me last week I wasn't okay. sure. Defense. Defense. Nice. nice. Hey, getting back to Andrew, right? He said he wanted to be a wolf. That's a pretty cool animal, right? Did you know a wolf can eat 20 pounds of meat in a single meal? Yeah. How much do you eat? Well, listen, that, you know what that the 10. No. <laughs> All right, no, the, that's the equivalent of eating 100 hamburgers in a day. And the only other two entities that can match that, the entire DeRoss family or Coach Dan Beckenhus. <laughs> Here we go. That big defensive line in there. They have him pushed back. Watch Fleming in the middle. Cuts up, and they stack them up very quickly. Hard to see who's in on those tackles. Fleming, of course, oh. his name in there. Danny O'Connor in there again. And number, yeah, Fleming and Oki, 54-24 running that side. So cool. very, very short game. Cool. <laughs> hey, uh, Andrew said he'd like to be able to teleport. I can tell you this, Albie. After many Sunday mornings next to BVH, I wish I could teleport, too, right yeah. now, as a matter of fact. Teleport to the Biltmore, man? Yeah, how about that? Let's get down there. Patriots coming up. We get a little bonus by starting the B game early today. Go watch the Patriots. Big tilt with Everett, the A team, later, too. That's going to be awesome. Second down here. Call, call it seven. And in motion. 
Oh, gets met immediately by Danny Junta. Wraps him up. A little frustration on that part. Stevie Needham comes in and help him. So does Ross. So beautiful play by that big uh, defensive line. Danny Junta just wrapped him up coming back. Wasn't tricked. Stayed in his lane, right, Alvy? This is a huge play. Huge this play is a for the D right this here. is a huge play inside the five yard line, ten yards to go, and they're going to call timeout and think about it. So very, very big play of coming. All right, huge play here for Wakefield. Third and ten, and inside the five yard line. It's going to be a pass here. He heaves it up, and right there. Oh my gosh! What a catch and what a hit! Beautiful play. Danny Damari comes in and crushes him, and he just lofts the ball over Rush, and they get the first down. So, wow, credit Wakefield. A couple of really, really beautifully executed pass plays here. And that one, no bigger than that one in the game right now, to get a first down and give themselves a little bit of breathing distance out to the 20-yard line. So, well defended, huge hit by Damari, and he still pulls it in. Here we go, first and 10 after a huge pass and catch for Wakefield. I formation. The handoff right, number 21 gets outside. He tries to cut back and, oh, he's still on his feet. He's met by Harrigan's out there as well as, let's see, 53 Needham. And I think uh, Danny Damari, 22, is out there as well. So nice gain there for about five or six. It's a good first run on first down. This is a very big test for the Reading defense. Six minutes and and counting on the way down, Wakefield down just four. It's going to be a pass again. He swings it outside and just a lead number 11 a little bit too far. Troy Pollock and Rosh trying to stick with him, but that's an incomplete pass here. It's going to be third and call it three. Third down play here, and this is also a big one too because if it goes to fourth, you really got to think about kicking the ball away that deep with six minutes to go. So, big play here. Great game so far, too. It's a pitch number 21. He gets pushed back and gets wrapped up immediately. Bunch of folks in there. Danny Junter in there. Who else? Course number 24, Fleming in there. Danny Damari comes in, too. So, it's going to be fourth down here in three, and this is a huge call for Wakefield with five minutes to go. Do they kick it? Do they go for it? They're going. Broken two. They're going for it right here, and this could be the ball game right here if Redding can hold them. They take the ball over. Huge play right here for Redding. It's a handoff up the middle. He gets met. Oh, nice job. He drives him for the first down. So, looked like he was met in the backfield. But credit number 21. He gets the first. A little frustration on uh, some of the players at Redding. They thought they had him take the ball over, so that's a huge, huge first down for Wakefield to keep this drive going. Five minutes, uh, 20 seconds ticking on the clock in the game. Like to see one of the guys get in there and put a lick on him, maybe get a turnover, right boys? We need one. They gotta get the pigskin. Two guys split way right. They've had a lot of success throwing the ball today against Redding. One guy back. It's a handoff right yeah, up the middle. Nice, nice play nice, right nice. there. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to say that was a great form tackle right Danny there. Danny Tamari comes in and absolutely rolls over uh, the guy. Looks like someone's down. Twists that ankle. Looks like Oki over there. Oki got rolled on on the top. You Shaking can't it off. Burn an oak. I don't know. Listen, he got right up there. I'd be down there right now saying, Mommy, get I'm me off the field. Like, I'm surprised you didn't run down stop. there. Stop. <laughs> I think you fumbled and they would jump on it, but I gave it back to Wakefield. Oh boy, here we go. Webb and Richmond switching sides right now. Two outside backers or defensive ends. You'll see them either stand or go down on a three point stance, but it's going to be second and long here. The clock is still ticking, four minutes to go. And the shotgun. He's going to pass this thing right now. Oh, Danny Junta gets up. Oh, they got him right there. Beautiful play. 
Nice job. They strung him out, and Richmond's in there. Needham's in there. Danny Junta puts his huge hands up. Fleming's in there. Fleming's in there, and what a pushback. And they got it right at the right time. It's going to be third and forever right here. And uh, I think the Wakefield coach is doing what Bob Junta did earlier. Maybe you want to throw that thing away if you can. Save yourself about 15 yards, but a huge pushback for Redding, and they needed it. And it's going to be third and forever here. Call it over 20. Because he's doing so horribly, right? Hey, great play there. Danny, on the left side there, Richmond and Junta. Push that thing way back. This is third and forever here, and they're going to throw another pass again. And he fires it up. Patch is going to look up. Oh, he drops the ball. Wow. Another nice pass there. And now it's fourth and forever. And I think, I don't know what you do here with two minutes to go. Do you have to go for it? You may have to. You may have to, but these guys need 30 something, maybe 25 yards for a first. Let me, be your, turn the ball let me, down. Be, let me be your eyes, Oak. Okay. How about we do this, Albie? We will give you, we will give you. 23 yards, Coach. The play call. You want to do your first play by play call for this one? Oh, it's got to be a pass. It's got to. Well, that's listen, you've you got to take this thing. I'm going to. Biggest play of the game for Wakefield. You got it, Albie. Go. Huge play, huge play. They got to find the open receiver here. They have to. Shotgun formation. Oh, timeout called by Wakefield. Timeout. They call timeout. I, I don't know Back how many. Back to you, Oak. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how many fourth and 23s you have in your bag here, but they're rethinking this right now. But two minutes and 52 seconds to go. I don't care how you slice it. It's going to be some excellent field position for Redding. I smell some trickery coming up. They're going to have to try something, but I'll tell you, they have they have executed very, very well. Why were I here? We can take a look at uh, assistant coach Mike Masucci. Look at look at this guy. He I, looks like a million bucks. At all I think times, he gets he? up at six o'clock and grooms himself to be ready for the game. I at think I think it's actually possible that he gets his hair cut once a week, perfectly right down in Charlestown. Is it Charlestown? I think he got stock in old days. Yeah, little yeah. plug, little plug. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, listen, Mike Masucci. We, we had a lot of fun last week with Anthony ripping off a 25 yard. I want to tell you a quick story. He said, I'll give you two bucks for every yard you get. He ran for 25 yards, and no one was happier to see the flag than Dad Mike Masucci <laughs> ripping $50 out of his son's hands. All right, back to the action here. It is fourth down and forever. Sorry, kid. Huge play. Huge play right here for Wakefield. They're back. Oh, Richmond's oh, right in. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow, the pressure from Richmond and yeah. Webb were on him. And he just led number 21 a little bit too far. And they're going to turn the ball over. And that really, with two minutes to go, oh. an unbelievable field position for Redding. I'm going to tell you this. Coach Stewart is not going to sit on this. They want points. And they want to put this game out of reach right here. But, wow, what a great series for uh, Redding. And it's in particular, very huge important third first down. down here. Very important first down series. They need the first down. Too much time on the clock. It definitely is. And they got to hold on to that ball, too. So Fleming is in there. QB. And here we are, first and 10 from the 20 yard line. And Redding wants to put a stamp on this. The direct snap to Fleming. He falls back and he's, oh boy, he pulls ahead for about six yards. And those are the tough yards we used to see in Lucas run. And what a luxury it is to have a guy like Lucas uh, late in the game just beast hand the mode. ball to him. Oh, beast mode. He is beast mode right now. He could probably eat 100 hamburgers. Huh? Lucas uh, you know Fleming? What? Yeah. Yeah, I, I really if there's someone on that. this team, it might be it might be Lucas. Well, it depends on what hamburgers, too, or cheeseburgers. You know, some are a little bit thinner than others. Ah, you get the big doughy buns, too, like we're uh, talking yeah. about. You don't want well, that. You know, you go to right. McDonald's, flat burgers, or Wendy's, you know? <laughs> Here we go. It is second and call it four after the tough run by Lucas. Watch to call his name again, and they do. Follows him again, same exact play. Oh, get Lucas is on his feet. Way. Oh, boy. He stays on it, just rolling over people. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, gosh, the last guy he hit is he took a real lick from Lucas. Like deja vu from he is week. leaving. He is leaving kids on this on the field every single week, and no one wants to see a little guy get hurt right here. But Lucas is a tough guy to bring down. He rushes down. It's that's a that's it's got to be a first down, I would think. You don't get in the front of a kid that big. Oh, but you got to give Wakefield a lot of credit. They're doing it. Yeah. Wow, They're sacrificing their bodies. It's actually, it looks like it's, they say third and, uh, well, 
I don't know how that's not. Is that a first? That's gonna be a first yeah, down. I think we get. Uh, uh, we got third. Is that three. Bunky sleeping over there with the uh, the over there? Yeah. Uh, Steve Webb's grandfather over there. He's paying attention to the game and not flipping the uh, numbers. So uh, he'll be sure to be watching this. We'll just say. All right, come on. Let's wake up over there, Bunk. Come on. That's first and goal, buddy. <laughs> We had the referee actually tell Bunky he had to move it to first, so good for him. He's just out there saying, where's my, where's my grandson going to crush somebody? First and goal right here. Right to, oh, looks like we have some movement. I don't know if that's going to be on Redding or it's going to be on Wakefield. It's movement on Redding. It's going to push him back. At least five. You don't like to see that because Redding absolutely wants to get on the board here with under two minutes to go, but anything can happen. You have a fumble, you have anything happen if you're within a score, so Redding wants in the end zone here and pushed him back five yards. It's first and goal again, but this one from the eight. Fleming and Beckenhuis in the back. It's a Fleming following Beckenhuis, and Fleming puts his head down, cuts back, and he's nice in on top. Beautiful. Those are the points they needed right there. Wow, great, Woo! great play by Fleming, and that's going to be all they probably need to take care of this game. What a great game today, guys. That was fun. I'll tell you, another beautiful day out here uh, in Reading, and uh, that Wakefield team was tough. That was the toughest test that Reading seen today. They passed the ball beautifully, but Fleming. You know, like I said, when you see the big guy cutting left and right instead of running over people, you're like, oh boy, they, got, they, they don't have an answer for that. And now Webb's going to try to put two more on this and effectively put it out of reach. Oh, this one gets blocked. Great job by the defense. Nice job, but at 18 to 8 with 1 minute and 21 seconds to go, the game really is out of reach unless we have some... Uh, it's not Some over crazy till it's over. What? Wow. We got to write that when one that down. When that come R.I.P. Mr. Yogi Berra. <laughs> All right, Lucas Fleming set to kick it off here after bowling in for the, basically the ceiling touchdown. Uh -oh. Lucas kicks it on uh -oh. the ground. It's a live ball right there. Ooh. Good job. Number, Troy, Troy Pollock right in as well as number 52. That was Andrew Fettino, so looks like uh, just about a minute, minute and a half. They, uh, about a minute and a half, we're getting, yelled, we're getting, we're getting yelled we're getting at by, uh, heckled. getting heckled by the Wakefield <laughs> fans up here. A uh, minute, minute and a half left to go. We, we might need an escort to get out of here. Let's go get flung. <laughs> there we go. All right. First and ten here. A little bit of give and take between the Wakefield fans up here. We're gonna, like we said, Albie, we're going to have to get Lucas Fleming to actually uh, <laughs> escort, escort, out escort out you here. out of here, right? It's going to be a pass here. Ooh, Stephen Webb right in there. Just overthrows number 11. Number 41, Sean Beckett, who said good coverage, and they had a couple of guys way back. They want to let these guys uh, do it here. It looks like this may be the end of the game here. So the Rockets won a very, very tough game here against Wakefield. A very good team. And the Rockets, they looked great, didn't they? Mostly gay, and that defense was awesome, as Albie says. The defense wins it. But I'll tell you, what about a beautiful, an athletic play by Barbosa to pull in that touchdown was huge at the end of the half. And that put the Rockets up to stay. But um, this Wakefield team looks very, very good. And uh, who knows, maybe we see them later. Next week we get Drake it. They were 2 0, and as BVH tells me, because no one knows Pup want a football across Eastern Mass like he does. <laughs> Nobody. That the, the Drake at C team last year won the States. So guess what they are this year? They're the B team, Albie. Uh oh. So we're going to run into Drake it back here in Reading uh, next week, but a great win for the Rockets. This Rockets great job. Can play the way they play today against this Wakefield team. They're going to get a very shot. Well. Yep. Very hey, well. Listen, Albie, two weeks in a row, it's a dream matchup, me and you up here, isn't it's it? It's been a pleasure. And BVH, once again, I'm going to give you this right now, B minus. B, B, B minus. <laughs> B -minus. Right, I'll, take, I'll take it. Yeah. You're actually being very generous. Oh, of course I am. I, was I, go I don't C want the kid to get all bummed out here, but a B minus job on the camera for BVH. Albie coming in with some cutting edge color commentary. Look at all we. Thanks for the look invite. Look at Greg Regazzini over here. He looks like he just walked Sneaking out of the J. In. Crew catalog, <laughs> getting ready for the C team. Best here. dressed guy he down here. He looks fantastic. He's got. He's got the. I got to tell him he's got to get rid of the long pants. We're on fire up here. In the sun, <laughs> but, hey, we'll see you next week. Redding with the win today, 18 to eight, and signing off.